Welcome to Roof Time, in association with Moose Roofing out of Omaha, Nebraska. I am your host, Austin Anderson. I major in roofing and minor in chainsaws, mini bobcats, three-wheelers. In today's video, we are discussing thatch roofing, commonly misunderstood as roofing for poor people. When did thatch roofing first appear on the world stage? Well, that was between 5000 and 1800 BC. This was a point in time where the years went backwards, just like that weirdo Benjamin Button. This choice was due to readily available materials like straw, stems, and reed. And it turns out that these weeds, when woven together, kept the rain out and also allowed for air ventilation. Farmers and fishermen began building dwellings that included the materials of thatch. But then came around the hoity and toity Victorians in their uppity ways. And in this era, natural thatch roofing became known as the poor people's roofing. Thatch roofing is for poor people. <laughs> My wife's ass looks big in this dress. <laughs> and its use slowly declined into the abyss. Fast forward to today. And despite the fact that we are in a pandemic hellscape and political dystopia, thatch roofing has become more popular now that people are trying to preserve historic buildings and also because people who don't use deodorant like using sustainable materials. What's your forest name? These reeds and palm fronds used to make thatch are readily available worldwide and are easily replenishable as a natural resource. And they appeal to the tropical style that make many a homeowner horny for thatch. If you like the way thatch looks, but don't want to install it because you are concerned it's just a bunch of piled up weeds that's most likely to burst into flames and barbecue your entire family, remember that this is possible with any house built with any material, and you can reduce your odds of dying by way of fire by applying a fire retardant. If you like the way thatch looks, but don't want to install it because you think rats, mice, cats, and dogs will snuggle deep inside and make a home out of it, you can rest easy because they won't. They just won't do it. Even humans of old believed rats, mice, and even their own dogs would climb up into the thatch roof, tuck themselves in, and make it their home. This, this never happened. Not once. It's because thatch is woven together extremely tight to form a nearly impetrable surface that keeps out natural elements, rodents and pests, and even cats and dogs. However, you could have some pest infestations if you don't take care of it properly, but anything is susceptible to some kind of damage because the earth is cursed. If you don't want to worry about it, you could also try synthetic thatch. Thatch roofs are the oldest roofing technique in the world. Take that to your dinner party after quarantine. Guys, the truth of the matter is, thatch is a great building material. It's a natural insulator. It keeps you cool in the summers and warm in the winters. It can last up to 60 years with proper care and maintenance. It'll be there after you're dead. It makes you want to drink pina coladas, wear lays, and do the hula. And it gives your building a unique look that makes people snap their heads and say, that pile of weeds on that house looks amazing. There you go. You'll never have to look up a single thing about thatch ever again because I provided you all the information you will ever need in your entire life. Please subscribe and ring the little bell and we'll notify you when we release a new video. Class is dismissed.